All right, let me just apologize in advance if I'm a little bit too excited, a little bit too giddy, and nerding out a little bit too much for this video right here. Because I've been testing this for a while in the background, and I have just been dying to share this with you guys. It is the new wireless gaming headset by Corsair, the HS80 RGB wireless gaming headset here. Whew! Let's take a look at the box real quick. As you see, you can see a couple stats right here. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. But as far as in your box, what you're gonna get is your wireless dongle here, your USB cable, braided, heavy duty, USB-C by the way. Then you're gonna get all your paperwork along with your Atmos. Now your Atmos is synced to the device, not necessarily a scratch code. So active as long as you have the device. And then of course, you're gonna get your headset. Now most of you know where I start with my headset reviews, right? But if any of you are new here, we always start with comfort. Because no matter how good of a deal this headset is, or how great it sounds, if it's not stinking cozy, we're going to want to take it right off, right? So we're going to start with comfort here. Let's get our tools. We have our scale, and we have our ruler. But number one, starting with the headset right here. As you can see, full swivel, right down this way, a little bit forward, and then yes, your ear cups go in and out. But again, you have that full swivel to go fully flat. And it is, it's not firm, but it's not loose. So it's going to hold its positions there really nice for you. But let's take a look at these ear cushions. As you see in them right there, fully cloth. Outside, top, and inside. Might be able to catch them a little bit better over here. As you can see, fully cloth right there. Very big and very plush. Incredibly cozy, incredibly breathable. Now, you can take them off, twist them to the left, but as far as a replacement, they're held on by that black, uh, bracket within there. So I think a replacement is gonna be pretty tough. By the way, you can see that pleather I was talking about that's down on the bottom. It's not necessarily on the inside, it's down on the bottom. To put the ear cut back on, bam, twist it to the right, you're good to go. Let's get these measurements for you, right? Length of the ear cup right here. Hopefully the camera's picking this up for you guys. At that there, and then the depth. Again, I can't say it enough, guys. These ear cushions are huge, very plush. My ears don't touch the drivers at all. Now, as far as the headband, as you see, you have that floating headband right here. Now I'm gonna lift it up and you can see these two green notches there. That's how you're gonna adjust it. You peel it back and pull it out. You can see it better over here, right? Two green notches up there, elastic, bam, tighten or loosen it, tuck it in. It's not necessarily adjusting from the outside, it's hidden up inside the headband. That's really cool, because again, it's just like, gives it this really sleek, modern look. You don't have this elastic notch out there, it's hidden in there. Really awesome. Looking at the weight of this headset while we're talking about comfort, let's fire it up right here. Set our headset down. We are gonna get 366 grams. So that might be sounding a little bit hefty compared to some other headsets, right? And let me tell you, rolling right into the build of this headset, it's built fantastic. Those brackets that we were seeing over here are metal. Going into the ear cup are metal. Now the headband piece up top, and then your ear cups are plastic, but again, you got those metal bits right there. As far as durability, like, I mean, they are solid. You have that swivel as well, so you're releasing some of those um, flex points right there. But again, I don't get worried about it. That elastic band kind of stops you from stretching too far, but if uh, we got to stretch it this far to get it on our head, uh, we got some different issues right here, you know what I mean? But again, as far as that build and that comfort, that combination of both of them, you put this guy on your head, it, it, it 100% stinking cozy, hands down. It gets that stinking cozy badge easily. It's fantastic. Again, the ear cups are breathable. They're plush. My ears aren't touching the drivers. They're not getting pinched. It's just floating on my head right there. Even with that weight, with that floating headband design, again, it feels like it's floating on your head. Now, these ear cups are also going to play a role in the sound, which we're going to talk about here shortly. But before we talk about that sound, I want to talk about the features and functions on this headset here. Again, it is wireless and you get up to 20 hours of battery life, pending, of course, the settings you're using, the volume and then the RGB, because you see these Corsair logos right there. They do light up RGB if you decide to keep them active. And again, they are wireless. Now, you can also use them plugged in by USB and you're gonna get all the same features that we're gonna talk about while you're plugged in a USB or if you're using it wireless. By the way, this is Mac, PC, PS5, no Xbox. We'll talk about that in a second, right? Looking at the headset here, on the back you have your power button, your volume wheel, continuously rolling, but you do have little notches in there. It doesn't just like slide away on you. And then you have your USB port, which again is for charging, or you can get sound from it. And then you have your flip up and flip down to move you 
active microphone. Now, as far as using them wirelessly, Corsair states that you get up to 60 feet range with them wireless. As far as in my setting, in my house, I got 25 feet, right? So I walked from my desk, tried to go to the kitchen, get a drink, and right when I broke outside of my room right there, maybe a few feet out, it started chopping up right there. I couldn't get to my kitchen, but again, out of my room right there, it was give or take right around 25, 30 feet or something, and it started crackling up. So as far as the 60 feet, I think that's really gonna depend on your environment. All right, all right, let's get into the next juicy topic right here. Let's talk about the sound, and then yes, we will roll right into that microphone test next, but the sound of these guys, let me just tell you, wow, it is great. 50 millimeter drivers with a frequency range of 20 to 40,000. Wait a minute, what are you thinking of right now? Corsair Virtuoso, right? How about the Corsair Virtuoso XT we recently reviewed and we stinking loved? Same sound, same drivers, same punch right here. Now there's gonna be one difference. Like I stated earlier, these ear cushions are gonna play a lot into our sound. Think about the Virtuoso XT, this isn't gonna be a comparison. I got a lot of comparisons coming up, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for those. But think about just the ear cushions of the Virtuoso XT, for example, fully pleather, inside out, top and bottom. All right, we're not talking comfort or anything like that here, we're just talking sound. That's gonna lock in and really hold that sound a little bit more. Make that bass and just the whole sound a little bit more body, closed in and just throwing it right at you. With these being completely cloth right here, let's it breathe a little bit. Have you used Astros before, right? Uh, with these ear cushions being very similar, kind of lets that sound breathe and seep out a little bit. You get that here. Now, yes, you do also get some outside noise in, a little bit, not a bunch. Like you're not hearing, like if I got a fan, which I have on over here, I wouldn't be hearing that. You know, I'm gonna hear my whole game, but yeah, if I hear some people hollering in the next room over, I am gonna hear that. And some of your sound is also gonna bleed out. Now that's also gonna play a role into your bass, right, with this headset right here. It's gonna let some of that bass bleed out rather than being punching right in your face. But it's good, it's natural, and it is balanced, right? I honestly have been liking a little bit more bass. You all know I'm a treble fan. I love my highs, right? Audio Technic ATH-M50X, my all-time fave, right? So I love highs, and I still pull my EQ curve to high, but I do pull out a little bit more bass right now. And even pulling out the bass with these guys, it's so nice, because it's not this thumpy, rumbly bass, it's this natural, just immersive bass, if that makes sense, a realistic bass. Like you play a racing game, you don't wanna hear that muffler popping in the background, it sounding like you got dinosaurs stomping around you, you know what I mean? It, it's Again, it's just real natural, it's that pop, that pop is done, and then it goes on to the rest of the scene. It's great, and again, the highs are potent, the mids do their thing, and the bass does its thing. It is, if you use the XT or the Virtuoso, any any form of the Virtuoso, that's what that's the easiest way to explain it, is that's what it sounds like. If you haven't, let me just tell you, this sounds great and you're gonna stink and love them. All right, so one last thing as far as sound, I wanna show you into the IQ software because you do have access to that with this headset on PC here. Now one thing, while we have the headset powered on here, as you can see, you do get voice prompts through this. And by the way, just if you're curious, there's the RGB that we talked about there. But anyways, as far as IQ software, so we're looking right here, we'll select our headset, and this is where you go in here, number one, your lighting effects, which you have your logos, um, any custom as you want, uh, you know, an effect going right there, and then as far as your color, whatever. Anyways, coming over here to equalizer, as you see, by the way, this is the curve I use, pretty much the exact same I use on the Virtuoso. A little bit of bass, I'm pulling my bass up a bit more, pulling my highs up quite a bit over there. And you have all your presets. And the cool thing about it, on the headset, if you press down the volume button, you see it cycling? I wish it would say like one, two, three, four, as far as those voice prompts whenever you're pressing this. But it doesn't, so you kinda gotta have your ear set to whichever one you have, or maybe remove some of the other ones right there. So again, you get that customization as far as that, and then your device settings your auto off, your brightness, your battery level, and then your voice prompts here again. I like the voice prompts, but I wish there was an option to increase or decrease the volume, because if you got your volume cranked up, I mean, she is yelling at you. It's almost deafening. So since we have the laptop open, we might as well jump right into the microphone test, and you are here in the microphone on the Corsair HS80 right now. It's about this distance from me. Again, it is flip up to mute. We'll see if we get any noise with that, right? Mic off. Mic on. Oh man, the voice prompts, I'm not kidding. Like I have my volume cranked up and she hollers at me. So Corsair, it'd be sweet if you implement the volume roller for the voice prompts there. I don't know, you can disable them. 
I like them as just a peace of mind, but uh, a little volume rocker for those who be great within the software. But all in all, this is the microphone right here, and it's really cool. As you see, it's active. It's white. It's lit up white right there. Now, it's kind of obvious. Number one, she's going to yell at you. Mic off. Mic on. But when you flip it up, it turns red. You also got the click in your ear, so multiple notifications. You're going to know when your mic is active or whenever it's muted. But all in all, this is the uh, microphone test right here. Wow. I just listened to the playback of that mic test here. And let me just tell you, to me, it sounded amazing. Again, I did the mic test, straight OBS, no software tweaking, no nothing like that. Played it back with listen to the mic test through the HS80 and it sounded fantastic. All right, so let's go out and wrap up the review of the HS80 wireless headset from Corsair here. How do we always close out these reviews, right? With that ever so dreaded price, like, man, this thing sounded perfect, it sounded great, the comfort, the mic, everything's amazing, right? But that price, not right here, guys, not here. 150 bucks, okay, 150 bucks. It screams that price. It has it, the microphone, the comfort, the build, the style, complete recommendation from me. Complete recommendation. I love it. Now, are there different things I would want? Yeah, and I've already talked with them about it. I said, hey guys, how about an Xbox version? Hey guys, how about a version with Bluetooth? But again, as is a gaming headset right here, if you don't need Bluetooth, 150 bucks, game over. You have a complete win right here. I know a lot of you want some comparisons as well, and there's a lot that's in my mind, a lot that I'm comparing to in the background, testing, and I'll have those coming for you. So again, subscribe, hit the bell, because I'll have those coming for you very, very soon, and I have a lot to compare these two. But all in all, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this review right here. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I was able to help you out. If I was, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos. I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.